so I figured, well, why don't I just put in my two cents about this kit? So here's my two cents. High grade one to one forty four scale production ahead. And well first thing you look at my ahead is an arm or a fist is missing. It's not, it's actually just just for the sake of this review, just for quickness since there's not really too much to say. But anyway, um he has this nice red, it's probably the same red or probably darker than the one you get with the Alio Sachez Enact custom, the aggressive type. Um, it's very, it's a very nice red, and you also have um, these orange pieces here. These two is where the uh, two beam saber handles come out of, and this random orange centerpiece. Um, I did use all stickers on this guy. Um, he was a, definitely a quick build because I figured he was something that I'd put away anyway, sometime soon. Um, yeah, like I said, I did use every single sticker. Um, I did paint the GN drive, the little gray. Um, panels there. Um, I didn't do I didn't do too much panel lining. There wasn't that many. You probably noticed the ones I did, and the ones I didn't do. Um, I did use a lot of gray panel lining instead of black, because if I figured if I used black, it would just totally like kill the redness of this guy. And but yeah, there's the eye stickers there. Uh, the clear piece is still the same. This was a completely out of the box build, like totally out of the box just because I wanted to see how fast I could build him, and, well, yeah. Um, this kit, when I finished him, he actually surprised me a whole bunch. I mean, even after watching Primary 2 review of this, of this guy, uh, I was still, you know, skeptical of, like, doing a review, but, like I said, it feels like this guy is underappreciated just because the Bushido one came out. It's the exact same mold except for a few extra parts and everything, so everyone wants the Bushido one. But I don't have him, unfortunately, so I'm just going to review this guy. Um, anyway, enough about crap. Let's just get on with this. Um, his, head is that, his head is actually uh, real nice. I mean, even with the stickers, it's something that I couldn't pull off just by using paint and stuff. They're really thin um, foil stickers, but place them right, they'll look good. Um, his head is on a, kind of a double joint. You have the... Uh, ball joint attachment up there so he can get wiggle and he also has uh, I think it's another ball joint or maybe it's not on the um, the neck so he actually has quite a bit of wiggle for his head a lot of um, movement for his head I just find his head to be quite loose sometimes but it doesn't fail it just a little wiggly. Um, these here, they are also quite flimsy. They just attach onto a ball joint in the back, so they kind of fall out of place a lot. But once you get them back into the ball joint, then they're back there. Um, it's kind of a two jointed uh, shoulder joint here. There's no ball joints whatsoever. It's just well placed plastic parts and polycap joints. Um, you get this amount of shoulder lift, and then with the arms. Um, normally, you can just get that much, but if you lift this um, shoulder guard down, you can lift it quite a bit higher, so it's kind of at a straight angle. A uh, single point of articulation for the elbow, which isn't bad at all. Um, there is rotation on the forearm, which is quite different, and it's actually not a bad feature. And you also have just simple ball joint for the wrist. His waist does have quite a bit of um, point to articulation. You can, if I could, I could count these as uh, uh, side skirts. They kind of just uh, wiggle, you know, I guess left and right. They can only go upwards. Um, his waist itself can go backwards quite a bit and also go forwards quite a bit. Um, only just because these little panels, these skirts here, are, are in the way. Just because of that. If, if they weren't there, you'd have a lot more to work with. So, you know, you can get quite a bunch of poses. You can get them, like, you can get them doing stuff like... Yeah, you know, just some random poses, you know. Um, his legs are quite nice as well. Um, they're not on ball joints. Well, I mean, they're not, like... 
they don't have the pelvis joint, but they're on some really well placed ball joints, so you can have a wiggle here. And there's also a kind of a how do you call it, peg and socket joint in the uh, this area here, so we can lift his leg up, spread him out, or do that, do that kind of thing. And he's pretty well. He's pretty well um contortionist. Uh, you have a double jointed knee, surprisingly enough, one on the top and one on the bottom. Not exactly full bend, but it's a, uh, well, for this guy it's a full bend, but yeah, it's well enough. And then here you have this little random, kind of, not even an ankle, but like above the ankle area guard that kind of flaps up and down. I don't know why it's there, I mean, the foot doesn't exactly hit it at all. Uh, his foot can go down, up, or up and down, depending on how you're looking at this. Um, it's on a ball joint, so you can get wiggle. It's a pretty simple um, ball and socket joint for the foot. And, and let's see, what else can I say? That should be it for his articulation, I guess. His accessories, um, there's some that I'm not finished with, or I just chose not to do because... Uh, one, let me talk about the automaton pack, which just pegs into there. You just pretty much remove this. It's not that hard, really. It just kind of pegs in there. Remove that. It's another big black piece like this, made of probably two pieces. And you just peg it in here, just like this. And you have the automaton pack. I didn't pull. I didn't put it on him because, well, I, <laughs> I don't know about the automatons, but yeah. Uh, and he does come with two in-scale automatons, um, which are still in the parts tree as well. Um, you also have a plain red and black shield. It kind of just pegs into the forearm, right there in the hole right there. Though I kind of find it a little loose. It will rotate. Oh wait. Yeah, it will rotate. But like I said, it's quite loose. Um... He also has, of course, the beam rifle, and this is where the, uh, hand, the other hand is. It's unfortunately one of those, um, well, I guess I could, I could, I don't have to say unfortunately, but it's one of those things where you have to pop off the top and put whatever weapon it is and pop the top of the hand back on. Yeah, it's one of those. And this is a, a actually a um, submachine gun mode. Um, this is it. Pretty plain and nice. Uh, he does have two handles on each side, which you just kind of do that with. And it's nice because this thing here will actually fit on that hole in the forearm, so that it stays there very securely. So just like that. It's a really nice rifle, in my opinion. Well, submachine gun actually, and it can't hold it with two hands because of the handles. Um, the other thing about this submachine gun is you can make it into a beam rifle, and I like just attaching this part to it. You just have to kind of align the hole with the peg. Ugh, this is gonna look gay. And there it goes. You have um, beam rifle, <laughs> pretty much. And I like posing it like this, just like that, because. The complete beam rifle actually comes with two other parts, which you kind of have to just attach onto the side, make sure the peg is lower. So you just put them on like that. Do the same with that. And I don't know if it's just me, but this looks wrong. Flip it that way. It's a friggin' penis. No, I'm not very fond of weapons that look like penises, so I just leave the gun like that. Besides, it looks nice. It's thin, you know. It's 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 much more compact than having two energy packs on the side, and it doesn't help at all that he has the kind of that he can actually hold it down the center, and well, you know, do that. You can't actually. Um, use the same peg that attaches onto the forearm and store the guns on both sides. Oops, see, there's the shield, there goes the shield on both sides of the thighs. 
so it can just hold it right there. He also comes with two, unfortunately, white um, beam sabers. Like I said, I just love getting those ones. Um, but I'm not disappointed because the package that I just got yesterday comes with beams. But yeah, that's it for the uh, head. If you were to get this or the Bushido, then I'm sorry, I would have to say get the Bushido because it's a lot better. It's the same exact mold, and it's Bushido. <laughs> but, you know, to add to your collection, pick this guy up. This is the high-grade head. Peace.